As the global community commemorates World Population Day, Kaduna State has joined their counterparts in celebrating the day by urging Nigerian government at all levels to invest in women and girls' education to fully enhance their potential in nation building. The 2023 theme is on releasing the power of gender equality, uplifting the voices of women and girls to unlock our world's infinite possibilities. Speaking, the Director General, Kaduna State's Contributory Health Management Authority, Abubakar Abu Hassan said state's government has put mechanisms in place to address gender violence and number of rape issues for women and the girl child. In cases of rape, there's nothing that breaks a woman like rape. The mere mention of the fact that we have the castration war in Kaduna State is a signal to say we will not condone as a state, any act that would break our will. The role of the girl child is not about the kitchen. The role of the girl child or the woman is not about cooking at home. The role of a woman or the girl child is not about going to the bushes to bring out books. It's not about the woman or the girl who goes, whose role is to go to the stream to fetch water. The woman or the girl has greater potentials to help shape the world. This is our push. Some of the women advocates say empowering women with skills and opportunities will encourage them to fulfill their desires and aspirations in society. They added that investing heavily in education, health and other areas will solve many gender-related problems and gender equality in the state. So we've been able to provide um, education, training and skill and also commodities for family planning services and reproductive health services. One of those projects is the Mata Asam Matang Arewa with AH, um, adolescent SFH, which is the A360, and it targets marriage adolescents between the ages, um, young adolescents, so young teenagers, adolescents, in our local government areas, and they are provided with um, knowledge and skill to empower them, arts and crafts, knowledge um, and skill in housekeeping. They are also trained in reproductive health and fertility care for themselves and their family. Mm. Gender and social inclusion policy is there. The He for She program, we are even bringing in a different perspective to uh, get the woman to, to unleash her potential, using men as advocates for this gender inclusion policy. These are all what we need to do. Areas around nutrition, areas around family planning, heavy investment in terms of uh, what we have at the primary healthcare services. Okay? Also supporting women, identifying their different uh, you know, needs through age and data statistics in the state. These are all ways government of the state is looking to support the needs and, uh, of women, looking to provide the necessary environment so that the woman and the girl child will realize their full potential in the state. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.